Uh, yes, this is Margaret Ann Windsor. My real name, I have to use Peggy Ann Dempsey. I married Childers. And I was kidnapped at age two in 1941 and brought to Moulton, Alabama, and given uh, another name, the name of a dead twin. Both twins were born, well, were dead, were murdered. They were born out of wedlock. So uh, I've had a bad time. I've been shut down. It's my uh, access to the Internet has been jammed now for three or four days. And I had trouble, uh, my phone, my Facebook, and things had been hacked. And uh, anyway, I really <laughs> have tried to upload, and I think when I made the videos, I might have gotten one or two up. But they're, basically, they're not letting me, giving me access to the Internet. <laughs> but then again, I can... Um, when an internet access is available, <laughs> that's what come, comes across Messenger. And uh, at times I can get on there the last few days. Okay. And I know who's jamming it. Uh, well, I think I do. I can't do anything about it. And um, I this isn't funny because I've, I've been telling this and I don't know why exactly I do and I don't that my kidnapping, that's part of it. Um, and the Illuminati kidnapped me. So I wrote about mind control murders and thought I was doing people a favor. They might like to know if their child was, uh, crazy, like people like they're allowing you to, um, think or then, I don't know, people have chose to think that way when your child's been chipped and programmed and it's been going on a long, long time. Now, um, you can program... Oh, I'm being harassed. Oh, you best believe it. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is bad. I've been sitting here since 5 o'clock this morning trying to upload one video because I finally got a little access to my private my providers, uh, not private, my provider, what they provide me. I've been shot down off of the, uh, uh, not shot down, I maybe, well, I don't know. <laughs> Having a rough time, and that's how I get by it, by laughing at it. And I don't know how long I can keep on doing that. I guess till it's over and done with. Anyway, let me get to this before, I, you know, if my videos offend <laughs> Um, uh, the internet will kiss my grits. You've already done me in the, uh, then you can run around and play the crazy card, can't you? Because you have so much power, the Illuminati that kidnapped me. Took down my beautiful dad and mom, you sorry sots. So anyway, I, I, I've told this and I want you to really, well, I don't know, I'm telling it and... I've put up enough on my videos in the past that uh, uh, I was telling about chipping people and how you can cure an illness and create it in the Tesla files. And then I find out the Tesla files leads into a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, and I, you can, you can uh, Google, I think you can, I can't even Google right at the moment. How's that? Anyway, um, I want to get back to the internet. And the Illuminati, your global government, controls it. And they, after they took my father down, if anybody wants to look at, um, well, I better not contradict some people on, uh, <laughs> I'm going to unsubscribe for, from this person because the only person on, that I subscribe to is a beautiful lady that lives in another country that tells the truth. Now, this other one is, uh, well, it's a religious, so <laughs> uh, he may know what he's talking about, and he may not. So I'm going to unsubscribe it. Now let me get off of this and make this short and see if I can get this one up and sit here another five hours and hold on to it and pray that I get it up. For I mean, you know, the Internet is, let me put it this way, the Illuminati uh, control your Internet. Stop and think about how long it started back with AT&T back when 
I was living on Stewart Lakewood, and uh, some things were going on happened then I won't get into. And the next door neighbor that rented us a house there in Atlanta actually worked for AT and T phone company back then, and told uh, me and my husband, showed us what was the beginning of the Internet. He actually told us this way back then, and, well, I didn't doubt it. I've always, anyway, I'm not going to get into me. I, I'm this person that I won't dis credit it unless it can really be disproved. I'm open-minded to certain, to things, most things. Anyway, uh, I, when, when I say most things, I'm talking about technical, not the crap that's going on in the world about the go do this and have this and have a baby, and uh, then you can follow me. And then if you don't want it, well, you can do that too. Okay, here is um, what, okay, the internet. I put a page out of a book that was given me by a church here, sent to me. I was living on the Appalachian Trail. And I, this is what I'd been telling about and already told about. It was about the end times and chipping and the beast, Mark of the Beast and all that. And you'd have to be chipped to get food or anything. Well, that's what it's come down to. And this last month, I couldn't get what little funds because it was the computer was shut down. And then I find out, uh, I thought, no, this is some other things happened. So somebody told them, just tell me that, and they can get away with it. And that's what they did. I don't think their computer there at the bank was shut down. They did it. But then I, um, a few days later, I looked at Google and uh, Wells Fargo, which, who's huge, this was, I forgot what branches in their banks, but it wasn't in Virginia. Uh, but their computers went down, which was really odd, and they had a phone number to call because they couldn't get their funds, and um, the, fu the phone number they call wouldn't help them either. It was like this sick joke. Well, that's what this is. Uh, everything has been turned over to the Internet to your Illuminati, your global government. Stop and think about it. What can you do if you don't have access to uh, the Internet? Well, it's they put it up there for a reason, and they control it. And uh, what's happening to me is, um, I, don't, I mean, they've got me <laughs> pretty much, I don't know, maybe I'll make it, maybe I won't, and maybe... God that they talk about will come and stop it. I, I don't know. Um, anyway, I, I wanted to mention this. I had put up about Meghan Markle. Now then, the only thing I can say is if it ever shows how I've been treated, the life I and my children have been, uh, the things done to us, the wedding I had, and uh, the dress I had to wear, and I'm the real monarch. My father was taken down, and uh, he didn't leave <laughs> on his own. It was a takedown by the Church of England, Archbishop and Winston Churchill, and uh, one or two of my own family, and I don't believe they all got into this crap. I don't. I'm believing now that my, my grandfather was murdered. Uh, but anyway, my father was married to Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, an American, so I suppose when they kidnapped me and brought me over here, I'd have a dual citizenship. I'm the real monarch. My father had papers made, and they were legal, and uh, that I, if he had an heir, the heir would inherit. And the minute I was born, Queen Victoria II, heir to the British crown, stolen by my uncle, who the Illuminati that did all this, appointed or made. <laughs> now they're making who's king and queen. So Elizabeth is illegal. The whole lineage is. And now then I, I'm over. They've kidnapped the real monarch, whose mother is an American. She was queen, not Wallace Simpson. She married a double. There were several doubles, uh, lookalikes, imposters. One of them married Wallace Simpson, 
And now then, history still tells you that's my father. Deleted my mom, lied about a beautiful man, my father, and about my kidnapping and what's been done to my babies, well, my sons, who are heirs after me, not William and Harry or any of that bunch. Uh, They should be prosecuted. They're traitors and war criminals. Now, before this goes off, this this Meghan Markle marrying uh, Harry, I was told back in 2010 in October, November, that he was going to marry uh, African-American. Well, you have to say that now. I can't say I'm, I'm not allowed to say my name. I have to use another name. So I won't get into all that. I mean, you tell the truth and people get riled up at you, man. They hate your guts. Threaten you. <laughs> anyway, I was told me, and I didn't know she was going to be biracial. Okay, it's how the world has um, embraced her, especially here. Uh, most of the people here, so, some of my friends on Facebook, I, I don't get into that with them, but they've been uh, nice. Some have been really mean over the years, but anyway, I guess we'll wait and see from the looks of it. Uh, anyway, think of me, all you nasties, That if this goes up, okay? When it all comes down, and think of me, I told you so. Um, anyway, why are they so gun ho to shut me up now? Think about that. I mean, they're really going after me, so if I get this up. Now then, um, the Meghan Markle. If this is ever played out and you see it, uh, this has to do with... Um, well, it's really kind of, I'll go ahead and say it, this won't get up. It's a race war going on now. Oh, you can't say it. Freedom of speech, uh, I've been not saying anything there, Martin Luther King, because he was in with uh, JFK on this whole mess to take down, to do this to me. They knew he and Reverend Andrew Young knew about me and what was done to my babies, and uh, they were in on the whole thing, and yet they're supposed to be the civil rights activists. Now then, if I hadn't made it clear, one day maybe you can look back. If you can use a computer or phone to look back on, it won't work if the Internet's taken down. So everything's been turned over to the Illuminati by the Internet. Your deeds, your banking, you can't do squat. Stop and think about it. What are you going to do? Everybody's going to be standing there wondering what happened to them. So now then, you'd have to have the, the chip put in you. That would be required before you can access the Internet, and then they do whatever again, and they'll do whatever they want to, or go out and buy food. I don't know if you can access the Internet anymore, but even you'd have to have it swiped. Bef- that's all come to be. Now, about Meghan Markle, I um, want to put this one up. This is she's leaving or she's left. And NBC, it's not just NBC, Entertainment Tonight, uh, what is it, Special Edition carried a big deal they do. Has anybody ever wondered why the uh, rest of the Queens, Netherlands, they're all my cousins too, that Elizabeth is focused on and um, um, by the media? And now then, Meghan Markle has just been, she's gone over, and her father, it was a big deal because her dad didn't get to come and walk her down the aisle. Well, Charles walks her down the aisle. He's illegal. They know that my father and mother was shut down, and I was kidnapped and tortured, and my babies. I wanted to talk about having uh, showers like Meghan came over here, and I'm going to get off the other, okay? You'd have to show what happened to me and what, uh, how the world has embraced Elizabeth and these bunch of thugs. And uh, now Megan, I'm not calling her a thug, but this was planned. So I don't know if it's going to be told or what, but they are giving her... Uh, well, first of all, the African-Americans, make sure you say African-Americans or they'll say you're prejudiced. That's the opposite what what I was, but I don't like to be stepped on either, and that's what you've done to me. Now then, if this goes up, 
uh, and I'm not handcuffed and hauled out of here because I've offended somebody by telling the truth. Okay. Now then, the yesterday NBC, I'm using this as an example. All the other networks here have done it too, and Entertainment Tonight and uh, all, all these programs that deal with celebrities. So she comes in, Meghan Markle comes in in all her glory and her gowns and all this, and they talked about how posh it was. And she was brought in. Well, I'm going to read this in a minute. She was brought in, and it, it was the... Uh, most expensive, most everything she got. Coming in with her, I believe I'm correct. I want to get everything T's crossed and I's dotted because I'm not allowed to say squat. I, I'm only allowed to be kicked and beaten and my children's tortured, uh, the real monarch. So this is what's happened. Now, she comes in, she gets all this treatment. She's got security with her all over the place. She's got her friends. She's got, I think they said hairstylist, excuse me, her personal assistants. All this gathering up in New York. I was in New York once. You ought to see what happened to me. <laughs> you have to compare and show to make people, I don't know, uh, stop and think, maybe, of the injustice that's been carried out right in front of everybody. So now then, they gave, uh, Serena Williams was supposed to have come over with her. And I'll tell you the other that they said here is his name. It's Beyonce and and uh, her husband, ZJ, is J Jay-Z. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not of that generation here. I'm back rock and roll. Elvis and Bob Seger and... Um, um, <laughs> Elton John and, um, oh, well, well, the uh, uh, Beatles and all that. That's my time. And by the way, um, I can't think of his name right now. And he was one of my favorites. Well, anyway, back in the olden days, okay, not in the, uh, Beyonce or any of that. Okay, now, uh, they were with her. She has these stars supporting her. And, by the way, I wanted to get this in. At the um, shower, baby shower, and I want the world to see, I pray, what was done to my babies that are, would be, that are the monarch after me. The grandchildren of Edward VIII and Claudia Ruth O'Keefe Windsor, the greatest man that ever walked this planet. Honest, kind, look what they've done to him. They didn't get enough of uh, taking him down because he wouldn't go along with them. He loved his country. Uh, they kidnapped me, his only daughter, and the smear job they've done, the character assassination on him, and on me too, and my kids, if it's ever known, told to the, made to tell the world. Okay, so now then they've got, um, oh God, don't let me forget his name here, uh, Clooney, George Clooney, married, his wife, and by the way, they had twins, and twins is a lot of the stuff I talk about on here uh, has to do with all this stuff. They had twins, but Mrs. Cloney is from Italy, and she's a, supposed to be a famed attorney, but civil rights attorney. I've never had a, civ a, a civil right. I really haven't. Now then, I'm going to have to shut up because I'm afraid somebody's gotten bad. <laughs> So I'm afraid to even say anything with everything else that's going on, really. Um, so anyway, they were at the shower, and they were invited to a wedding, and they come out, and they're saying how bad the Brits have treated. Uh, can you imagine if the world has to face this? They've got the monarch that's kidnapped, the real one over here. He took my dad down. My mom was an American, and now then the African-Americans and others here, but on the NBC.